Konami has a special announcement. They've got $400 cards just for you. What's up guys, we're back with another discussion video about yesterday's news that just dropped. It was a big hyped up thing by Konami. Was it actually hyped? A lot of people are not liking it so far. So if you missed this, you weren't on Twitter yesterday or X or whatever they call it these days. There was a little bit of a, a frenzy over this big announcement. So the reason this is a big announcement is because uh, the European Konami account, Yu-Gi-Oh Cards Games Konami Europe, I think is what it's called, something like that, has been posting a picture like this, two days to go. Get ready, Duelists. In two days, we will reveal another special product celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Two days, something big coming out. Obviously, everyone was pretty skeptical because last time they've you know been super excited for to reveal stuff, it's been stuff like the Platinum Dark Magician. So we came in with skepticism, but we're like, hmm, maybe it could be something really cool. And they didn't just post it on two days, they posted the same thing with one day. Attention duelists, only one more day to go until we reveal our special product announcement in celebration of our Yu-Gi-Oh card game 25th anniversary. So obviously people were, okay, what's this thing gonna be? They're interested, what could it be? And uh, the reveal came yesterday, and if you missed it, this is what it was. They announced that, attention duelists, the time has come. We are so excited to reveal the stainless steel Egyptian God cards are now available for pre-order. Now, first of all, you're like, okay, that's pretty cool. This is what they look like. So a lot of people had issues with the look. So you look at them, they do look a little bit like an Etsy store. Somebody made some custom cards, they posted them for sale. And then there's stainless steel, which also makes them sort of like an Etsy store where, you know, the, Konami does make a couple of stainless steel. They have the platinum cards. Uh, you know, they've done stuff like this before, but oftentimes if you buy like fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they'll come in some sort of metal and they'll have different artwork that we've never seen because, you know, they made it up themselves. And this is what we got. And it, it does have an Etsy vibe to it. The cool thing is, you know, English, we have uh, all these, you know, classic little things on here, except the Winged Dragon Raw, I guess, isn't. Every time an opponent, oh, it's, yeah, the text is a little weird. So the, the whole thing is a little weird. I'm not going to lie. I do like the artwork. Like it might be an Etsy thing. A lot of people said I like it. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the background. Yeah, Millennium puzzles so, sort of stuff. Millennium stuff makes sense. The Winged Dragon Raw, I think, is probably my favorite of these. I think Slifer is probably a little bit of a downgrade from the regular art. Obelisk oftentimes took up too much of the artwork. It's kind of cool to see the whole thing, though. The regular one is so iconic, so I wouldn't say it's better, but I think maybe the Winged Dragon of Raw might beat out the, the flaming chicken or whatever we normally have. I never really liked that artwork that much, the classic Winged Dragon of Raw. I think this one is pretty cool. So I kind of like the direction they went with this one. And here's the actual link. Here was where people started really disliking this. So right off the bat, you're like, set of God cards is pretty cool. $399.99. So we're looking at $400. We have bought platinum cards at a thousand and not really $1,300. They still have not sold out. Kind of awkward, but here it's at 400. So it's almost like to me, I'm like thousand, 1300 insane. 400 is like, okay, that's a lot cheaper. But then I think, do I actually want these? Like I'm paying over a hundred dollars each. Really, you can buy some pretty cool God cards for 400 total dollars. And just to comp those, if you wanted to buy the classic Sly for the Sky Dragon Secret Rare from GBI, not the ultra rare, like the lower end version, which is still a pretty cool old school version. This is the secret, like the more expensive one. You can get this in lightly played condition for 130 ish dollars right here, 136 for verified. So times that by three, that's about 400 bucks to get the whole set, assuming Obelisk and Raw are about the same, which they normally are. Near Mint, you would have to pay a little bit more, so I will say that. They're about 200, 210, something like that. But even then you're at 600, you get cards that are you know actually old and stuff. They're not sort of gimmicky like these are. So the price value is not as crazy as the platinum stuff, but it is still pretty expensive when you can buy some legitimate God cards. which these are legitimate. I, I won't say legitimate because that's the wrong word. But if you want to buy just some just regular cards that are 20 ish years old at this point, which probably have more nostalgia attached to them than these with the new artwork, then you have that option. So that part is definitely a little iffy. So people don't really love the artwork. They think it looks a little bit Etsy ish and then you also have to pay 400 bucks for it. So it's not exactly a steal. There is a big thing though that makes this a little bit better. There is this thing called a sweepstakes opt-in. Now, what is that? What sweepstakes? What are we talking about? The second part was there's a sweepstakes to enter to win the Black Luster Soldier Stainless Steel card. And if you guys don't recognize this, this is a reprint of the original prize card BLS that everyone says, oh, it was $2 million. No evidence of that. I'm just saying that people love to say it's $2 million. I've never seen anybody actually prove it. But that being said, it's super iconic and everybody wants to own one. They actually did this in the OCG recently and the card is insanely expensive. I think they did like two to three K copies, which 
Ironically, they did 3K here. We'll talk about that in a second. But this card is going to be available in a sweepstake. So if you buy those God cards, you do have a chance to get this BLS as well. Okay, so if you look up the actual OCG version of this that they did, you can see there's a sealed copy right here. They have one up for $2,000 and $1,855. They have not sold, so that doesn't show you anything. If you go to the sold items, you can see that a PSA 10 supposedly went for $2,800. But if you do go to eBay Therapy, which is a really good resource for researching sold prices, it doesn't pop up. So I'm a little confused on if that one actually sold, though it does have some other sales right here for $2,340. That was a total of two of those sold at that price. And if you look here, it looks like they had the whole packaging thing here. They took like a little bit of a, a discount, but this, they don't have great feedback. So and not uh, you can never really be sure unless you know the person who bought it. But eBay Therapy is usually pretty good about only having the ones that process. This person is the same one that has one listed. So maybe they sold one and had another one or something like that. Not totally sure. But as you can see, there is at least a high uh, barrier to entry in terms of buying it because there's not any like listed for cheap. So the card's pretty expensive. So if you think about that and the potential for this card, you know, they're releasing another two to two to three thousand. I'm going to show you guys here where they mentioned that that could be pretty expensive card in the future, but they did just release the 3000 in the OCG. Now they're doing 3000 here. So that's 6000 more copies. That's a lot more copies on the market. So the price will probably go down. But if you spend 400 and you get this, it's not guaranteed that it could be worth it. Maybe. OK, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, because I, there are so many things to talk about in this video, I keep getting ahead of myself. Let's finish this or this little post they have. So. All purchasers of the stainless steel Egyptian guard card with a shipping address in the United States or Canada. So this is US and Canada. There's also a European version. We'll read that in a second. That opt in are entered into the sweepstakes to win one of the rarest cards to exist in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, an ultra rare normal monster version of Black Luster Soldier, which is what we just talked about. Only 2000 copies of this card are available for the sweepstakes for the United States and Canada residents, except for prohibited. So if you're in Europe, there's a different set of rules there. This is for US and Canada. Winners will not be notified until order ships. So it's gonna be a little bit, this is what it's gonna look like. I don't, does it say sample on it? Not totally sure. So all sales are final, yada, yada, yada. So that stuff, here's here's some info on it, country of origin, Japan. So this is US and Canada, that's 2000 copies. Then if you click on the links here, so if you click on the, uh, EMEA and OC. Then if you click that link, you're going to get a different page. This is a whole long thing, but basically if you go down here, it says all purchasers of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Steel and Steel Guard card, a shipping address in Europe, Middle East, Africa, or Oceania, check eligible countries right there, are entered into a contest to win one of the rarest cards to exist in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Rarest cards to exist. I mean, it's not now because you just released 3,000 more copies, but <laughs> formerly an ultra rare normal monster version of the Blacklist Soldier. Only 1,000 copies of this card are available for the contest in Europe, Middle East, Africa, and Oceania residents. So winners will not be notified until order ships. So that's 2,000 plus 1,000. 3,000 total. You may have noticed there's also a third link to Latin America, get out of my way. They don't mention anything about numbers. Like I searched 1,000, nothing pops up on the on the page, 2,000, nothing. So I don't know if Latin America doesn't even get the chance. I mean, I could read here, it's a lot of work, but I didn't see anything when I was scanning through about being able to get that. So maybe they're just out of luck, which would kind of suck. And that means there's 3000 total copies. But there's also something else to mention about that. You don't even have to spend the 400. So this is a pretty cool item. And I was thinking first I looked at this and I was like, Ugh, I don't like this $400 for three God cards. It, I just don't like it. Maybe a chance at the BLS. And then I started thinking, I was like, I don't I don't love the God cards, but what if I could win the BLS? The BLS is a pretty expensive card. It's also really iconic for, you know, the history behind the original print of it. Like mm, maybe. And I start talking to Rhyme Style. Rhyme Style was like, yo, dude, this thing's going to be crazy. I've been seeing it in Japan. It's going to be really expensive. I'm like, oh yeah, you're kind of convincing me. I kind of want to buy these. So I've been bashing them on Twitter and then I get a DM on Twitter after I've been talking with Rhyme Style saying, yo, you know, you don't actually have to buy the God cards to get the BLS. And I was like, wait, whoa, 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 what? I got a DM from Zeta on Twitter saying, yo, you don't have to buy this. He sends me the whole long link, which we're about to go through. This is actually not required. It's actually illegal for Konami to run sort of a raffle type thing where you have to buy something to win something in the US and uh, would not like provide a free way to do it, which is actually something we've encountered on Whatnot quite a lot because you guys know I do some Whatnot streams. If I ever do international giveaways for buyer's appreciation, so let's say you buy something on Whatnot and then I want to do a giveaway for people who bought something, I actually can't 
can't do that legally. Whatnot has to provide a way for other people who did not buy something to also enter the giveaway. But usually just to make it legal, they'll have an option, but it's not necessarily easy to access. And Konami's done the same thing here. So Zeta actually sent me this link, which I'm not even sure where he got from. I sent him a DM just now saying, how'd you get this? Like, I'm sure it's on the website somewhere. Can you send it to me? Cause I need to know how to get to it. But they sent, they have this somewhere saying that basically a purchase will not increase the odds of winning because you're not allowed to actually do that because it'd be illegal. No purchase necessary. Entry into the promo constitutes acceptance of these official rules. So here's the eligibility. You only have to be a resident of the 50 states uh, or District Columbia of the United States, I can't speak, or Canada, excluding Quebec. Sorry, Quebecians, that sucks. I don't know why you guys don't get included. You have to be 18 or older or have reached the age of majority in your jurisdiction of residence. Okay, I don't I don't know what Canada's is. Yada, yada, yada. Then uh, you basically, where is it? You basically just have to send in a note somewhere. I gotta find this. Okay, here we go. How to enter. Fans can enter by purchasing a stainless steel Egyptian God card set and checking the box opt-in for the promotion. That's the expensive way, $400. Alternate method of entry. This is what we care about because I'm sure a lot of you guys, I mean, I'm sure some you guys will be interested in the god cards but i'm sure a lot of you guys won't because it's expensive to enter the promotion without purchasing the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card stainless steel god card set hand print your name complete address city state zip code and daytime phone number and email address by the way a lot of people who win giveaways and buy stuff from me don't do all this they love to leave their city and state off their zip code I mean, phone number usually is, that's pretty much an international thing usually, but a lot of people just send me their street address and expect me to know where they live. So <laughs> it, this needed to be said, it's very frustrating. I'm like, uh, I don't know where you live, man. So make sure you put all your info when you do this and then email address on a three by five card, which is kind of interesting that they say that like a note card and they're like, yeah, it needs to be a note card, which I don't know if it needs to be, but just to be safe, you might want to do it and mail it to the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card, stainless steel, Egyptian God card promotion entry, Konami digital entertainment, and then they have it the the address there. So you have to uh, postmark them no sooner than December 15th, which it's past December 15th. You're not gonna have to postmark anything. And then unless it's January 9th. So what postmarking is you need to go to the post office and make sure that they mark that they shipped it that day, which just do it before then you won't have to worry about it. And then uh, you can potentially win. That's it. You send in a note card, you mail it to Konami, you're entered. There's only gonna be 3000 winners, which if, people didn't know about this, which a lot of people didn't, it'd probably be a lot easier to get them. And I'm probably ruining a lot of people's chances. I'm sorry, guys. I know that you didn't want me to say this, but I just feel like if you have a chance to win something like this and Konami's not really saying it, they really want you to spend 400 bucks. I feel like it should be public knowledge that this is something that you have the opportunity to do without spending any money. So if you do want to buy those God cards, you're also going to get this free entry without, without having to send in the note card and stuff like that. Not that that's that much work, but you, if you don't have 400 bucks and you just want to send this thing in, you can do it. So now that I've realized this, thanks to Zeta on Twitter, the God cards are looking even worse. So at first I was like, ew, gross. Then I was like, wait, you can win BLS. That could be kind of cool. Then I find out you don't actually have to do that to get the, uh, the BLS, which is the coolest part of this whole new announcement thing. So now I don't really care about the God cards anymore. So I'm not gonna lie. I don't love the God card release. I'm glad it's not $1,300 like the Platinum Dark Magician, but 400 is still a little pricey for my taste. Personally, I'm probably not gonna buy it. I usually don't buy these single card things. Pot collection I did buy because I thought pot collection was a lot cooler. You have playable cards, you have little statues. It was a cool product. It was worth the 200 whatever dollars I spent on each one of those. Uh, and even they've even gone up in value, which is pretty cool. And a lot of times these kind of promotions actually do go up in value, like Platinum Blue, I said, well, Dark Magician obviously hasn't sold out, so that one's not doing so well. But this God card thing, I could see doing okay in the future, but personally, not that interested. And I wanted you guys to know about the free entry because it was brought to my attention by a viewer. He's like, hey, look, you can let your fans know. That way they're not spending money expecting to win something that they don't have to spend money to win. So I felt like it was something interesting. And it was also something that I've experienced with whatnot and giveaways there. So it's an international law that we've had to deal with before. If you guys enjoyed this and you wanna see more news videos, make sure to let me know. And if not, let me know what other content you've been enjoying or you want to see on my channel or even if you did let me know about content you want to see on my channel shout out to home Info show daxter puffins of doom ernesto diana america doidster leo gwine 62 brad kk beats ananda taisho ian musa junior barding robert f thomas mclean changalang and joey castle thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace